Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and we're going to give it a go and do a week ahead reading. So this is going to be for the next seven days, roughly seven, ten days, keeping our mind on timing, and we'll just see what we get in terms of messages, events, anything to be mindful of, any heads up that you might need about the week ahead. And as always, take the messages as they resonate with you. You're going to have to trust your own discernment on that. Hit that like button for me, guys. And thank you for everything you do for the channel. Thanks for your wonderful messages, checking in on me. I've been dealing with a migraine, so it hasn't been great. But hopefully, I'm on the mend. All right, let's see what's going on for my subscribers in the week ahead. What do my subscribers need to know? So we've got the beginning of the week, midweek, end of the week. Again, keeping up mind when it comes to timing. All right. This could be timing. This could be picking up on the main events you'll be dealing with in the week, regardless of timing, right? So just keeping up mind. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Quiet time, solitude, study, research, uh, receiving, a lot of hints, uh, information. Um, your intuition could be very heightened at this time. Okay. Could also be dealing with information that is uh, sensitive, private, private conversations, confidential information, uh, making moves in silence, okay. Um, Preparing for something and you're not talking about it until you have something to talk about. Okay, it could be that kind of energy. All right, so let's see. Beginning of the week, we have the Five of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So this is coming up as some sort of internal conflict of should I, shouldn't I? And you're trying to hold back from something. So there could be some butting of heads, some tension, some chaos, some conflict. The Five of Wands isn't necessarily bad fights, arguments like viciousness. It's not the Five of Swords, but it's just, it's not seeing eye to eye where there's a lot going on and you just don't have the time or the energy to choose your words in a situation, right? Um, or, sorry, hold on. The boys have been around. Um, You're under a lot of pressure. You're trying not to snap at people, right? But whatever it is you're holding back, whatever it is you're holding um, on to, there's a release, whether you're releasing that and you're just letting it fly, okay? Or there's a release in the sense that whatever the um, chaos and the conflict, the tension was, has passed, and now you can, you can breathe. There's messages, there's communication. This could be uh, kind of, be mindful with online communication because I'm seeing misinterpretation here because it's online, okay, or over the phone even, but it's like, it's difficult when you don't see the, the person, you don't have their body language to go off of, especially if it's on, on text, okay? That could be where a situation where someone just takes something the wrong way and then there's uh, passive aggressive comments right and that could lead to a full-blown argument over something that is just over nothing so the message is talk about it open up talk about it this could also be competition application process that you're starting early in the week you could be going for something applying for something and not telling people about it holding it keeping it to yourself, there's going to be progress with that, okay? If you've been doing that already, there's progress, there's communication. Midweek, we have the Three of Pentacles, so things calming down, going back to collaboration, working together from that Five of Wands, right? Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Great news, job offer. So if you're competing or applying for something, this is getting the job, getting the promotion, getting the money you applied for, asked for, getting the home, uh, getting recognized and some sort of gift that comes with it. If you have been in a situation where you've been struggling to keep it together, right? Because everyone's going nuts off on their own agendas and you've been trying to keep it together and you've been trying to keep something going. 
okay, there is recognition of that. There is, like if you've been covering for someone, right? They're coming back and it's like, you're going, listen, this has happened, that has happened. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I did there. I don't know if I pissed anyone off. Pardon my French. And they're coming back by midweek and they're saying, listen, everything's fine. Everything's taken care of. You did an awesome job. You did a great job. They may be giving, getting you a gift for helping, for stepping in, for covering for them. Or they're giving you some sort of praise or some sort of recognition, right? If there's, like I say, an application process, there's good news early in the week. And here comes the offer, the negotiation, the, the terms and conditions, the sitting down and talking about it. Okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Um, and then signing a contract or making a commitment of sorts. There could also be visitors in the home. They're bringing you gifts. This could be someone coming, traveling to help you through a challenging time where you could, you'd be fine if you had to be, but it's like every little bit of help um, counts, right? It makes a difference. If you are struggling early in the week, this is telling you don't try to do it yourself. Speak up. Ask for help. There's someone right there just waiting for you to say you need help and they're going to turn up at your door, right? They're going to ask, talk, get it out, right? Towards the end of the week, we have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, okay, the Five of Swords. Oh, lovely. Okay, so towards the end of the week, I feel like there's something that can be avoided okay there's something that can be avoided one sec sorry okay I also get an energy here where you've been trying to avoid something because you think it's going to lead to the Ten of Swords and actually it's fine. You'll survive. You'll recover. It's not going to be that bad. It's going to be butting heads and, and some conflict, but it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. So towards the end of the week, I'm not sure if it's linked to this or not, but towards the end of the week, there's a conversation you've been avoiding. There's something you've been avoiding, thinking it's going to, that's it. It's going to break it. It's going to finish it. It's going to end it, whatever it is. Maybe that's why you've been keeping things to yourself. But with stuff like that, it has a way of coming out anyway, because it's really stressful and it's eating you up. So it's going to come out, right? And this could also be what that is. This is telling you, listen, there's that thing. There's that conversation that you've been avoiding. You can either have it while you're still in control of your words or it's happening anyway, but you can have it when you're in control of your words. You can choose your words and it'll be a little tense, but you'll live. It'll come out of it. It'll be good. It'll lead to collaboration. It'll be constructive. Or you can leave it and leave it and leave it until you snap. And then who knows what's going to come out your mouth. And it will probably lead to the Ten of Swords because you'll say some things in the heat of the moment in anger that you can't take back. So it's something to be mindful of, okay? For others of you, there's some sort of... Um, conflict but again I just with the high priestess there there's something you knew was going to happen you knew this was going to happen okay so again it's telling you well if you know it's going to happen you can get ahead of this thing sit down have a constructive conversation or you can just let it go until it's going to be this big blow up which it will be right all right so let's see let's get these cards out Let's get more messages out here for my subscribers. Let's clarify what this is. For others of you, there could be, you beat out the competition somehow, you get something that others were going for, it's a happy day for you. Someone else might have an issue with it, someone else might have a problem with it, someone else might be jealous, someone else might be trying to stir, stir the pot and start some ish, and you're gonna have to put your foot down with that person same similar message you see what i mean it could be a different way how it plays out but it's the same thing where you know who this person is you know they've been jealous you know they've been struggling with you having good things happen to you right and you can either let them say and do whatever is it they've been saying and doing which is not very positive but that also has an impact on your energy they might not say things to your face but they're doing things that are impacting you on an energetic level. So you're gonna have to put your foot down with this person and you're gonna have to be very blunt with them. Okay, Five of Swords. 
of listen, you can't come around here anymore. You can't talk to me anymore because you don't know how to talk to me. End of story, right? This is unacceptable. This is not okay. I'm not doing it anymore, right? Because you have this beautiful blessing over here in the middle of the week that you've been fighting for, working for, striving for, saving for, right? If you've been putting together a plan, a strategy, an application, a portfolio, whatever this is over here, this is where you're sending it out, you're applying, you're sending it to whoever, and they're, it's very well received, they're calling you in to talk to you about an opportunity, right? And then when you make that public with the Four of Wands, when you make that known, this is someone playing victim. Well, what am I going to do without you? Or playing victim that you didn't tell them about it. Why didn't you tell me? Well, because it was none of your business. That's, that's the Five of Swords. That's why I didn't tell you be respectful right there's something along those lines that's going to be happening and you're going to have to put your foot down and not let this person play victim or do woe is me when it's not something that even concerns them okay if you're getting a promotion and your teammates can be happy for you well that should tell you something right because you worked really hard for that promotion. If they don't know that and, they, and they're not supportive of that and someone's playing victim that you got the promotion over them when they have not been working as hard as you have, then that's a them problem and that you're going to have to knit that in the bud, right? If you're telling someone, hey, I'm moving out, I found the house of my dreams, I got that mortgage, I got that loan, I got that job that's going to help me move out and they're playing victim and they're making it about them, and how your happiness is making them their life difficult well that person needs to go pisces pisces sorry i did the pisces reading that person needs to go five of swords there's no no this isn't a time to be kind because this is someone who takes advantage of your kindness this isn't the time to be patient and compassionate because they take advantage this is a time to put your foot down say no and stay in a way where they know you mean it okay so You've got something really beautiful coming in, really amazing. You'll have to protect it. And that means cutting someone out of your life or a group of people, or you're removing yourself from a place, a dynamic, a situation, a community. Okay, very, very strong boundaries. No means no. Because you'll have someone trying to play victim and stay attached to you and kind of leech off of you or make you feel bad over your blessing. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That you've worked so hard for. Come on now. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's clarify for the collective. For my subscribers, what is the week about? Let me go ahead. Okay. So just be mindful of the people around you, how they react to your success. Because that tells you who your people are and who you, your people aren't and they need to go. Okay? We have expectation, 28. This is something, again, you've been quietly waiting for something. Quietly waiting for something. Quietly planning something. Okay? And you're going for it and then you're expecting to see results. You're waiting to see what happens. Okay? So, beginning of the week. We have gift. We have family room. And we have coffin there's going to be some sort of for some of you this is someone offering some sort of gift it's a private conversation the family room talks about privacy confidentiality okay there's a either there's a gift coming in and it's confidential because an ending needs to happen first right so for example someone needs to it needs to be made official that uh, someone's out of their job before they're offering it to you, right? It needs to be made official that someone's out of that relationship before you can make it public. You can make it known to the people that now you're in a relationship. Do you see what I mean? So there's something where you're getting confirmation that something is yours, but you have to keep it quiet because it has to do with an ending for someone else, okay? Now you didn't make this ending happen. You're not responsible for someone losing their job. You're not responsible for someone losing their partner. You're not responsible for someone missing out on an opportunity. You just, you just, it's for you. That's just what it is. You worked for it. You've earned it. You have saved up for it. You did the better job. You, you're the better man, the better woman, whatever, however you want to look at it. Cause there is a sense of competition here, 
but it's fair competition, okay? Or it's a case of they didn't do what they were supposed to do with it, so they lost it. That's not your fault, okay? But again, there's confirmation here. Yes, awesome, but keep it quiet for now, okay? Midweek, we have imprisonment, message of concern, and distant horizons. So there's that element of visitors from far away with distant horizons. You may have asked for help and here they come. For others of you, um, someone else is asking for help or someone else is giving you some bad news. Um, it's something happening at a distance so it's not necessarily gonna impact you, but you may need to be um, there for someone in, in the sense that you know I'll message them or call them or just check in on them, okay? Because this is something happening external to you and at a distance from you. There's not a lot you do about it. There could also be something that leads to a conflict where someone's expecting you to drop what you're doing, travel across the world because someone's going to jail, because someone's in trouble, because someone lost something, their job, their home, whatever. There's a message of concern here and you're saying, well, I can't just drop what I'm, what I'm doing and leave, right? I can help in other ways, but I can't do what you want me to do. There's something here about expectations, someone having unrealistic expectations, right? And so you may have to have a difficult conversation with someone where you're saying, listen, I can only do what I can do. I'm at a distance and there's nothing I can do about that right now, okay? But there's definitely some sort of, yeah, something happening that's great for you and it's not so great for someone else. And then towards the end of the week, we have community, we have occupation, and we have adjudication. This is where it's made known, it's made public to the community. Okay, something is official, something you've worked for, something you've earned, something you deserve, okay? Something that's fair for you to have, okay? This is where it's being made known, it's being made official. With the community energy, people are gonna have opinions about it, people are gonna feel certain ways about it that's got nothing to do with you and it doesn't change the fact that you deserve this and it doesn't change the fact that you've er earned this, worked for this, okay? The adjudication energy is the law is by your side right is by your side this is what's right this is what is deserved this is what is fair okay and there's some sort of final decision ten of swords if someone's if you're inheriting something and someone's having to go at it and trying to claim like you know it's theirs and that you know towards the end of the week there's a final decision back off it's not yours it's theirs end of story okay and it'll put an end to the situation people are going to be or one person is going to be better about it right but that's a them problem you're getting the money you're getting the home you're getting the whatever this is right if you're being awarded granted given something okay because again you deserve it you've earned it whoever it is that's experiencing the ending and that could just be rejection or they didn't get it they didn't win um or um whatever they didn't do what they were supposed to be doing it and they lost it they got kicked out, whatever the situation is, right? Whoever it is that's experiencing an ending because you're experiencing this new beginning, this blessing, they may have a go at you. They may have a go at it. They may have, they may try to make claims. They may, you know what I mean? Get the law involved if you have to. Get a higher authority involved if you have to. Don't stay quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't be intimidated by this person, okay? This could also be where you're coming into some sort of windfall in family, friends, people you haven't seen or spoken to in ages and they're at a distance, right? They may make claim to it. And they're gonna have opinions when you say no, right? So just things to be mindful of. There's this amazing blessing and it makes someone upset because they didn't get it. And they're accusing you that because of you and you, what you did something, it got them fired or it got them left behind or it got them rejected or whatever and nothing could be further from the truth there's a lot of work that went into this there's a lot of effort there's a lot of time dedication consistency you deserve it or it is rightfully yours okay so that's just something to remind yourself of and you have to stand up speak up and defend it okay don't this isn't the time to be shy and just hope things die down and calm down and they blow off steam and they go away this is someone who if you don't put them in their place they could cause issues for you one way or another, okay? So that's what I see for the week ahead. I hope this helps, okay? Let me know how I resonate with the reading if you do, but like I say, for it's a look ahead, so it hasn't happened yet for a lot of you. For some of you, you it has or parts of it have happened or you kind of know what I'm talking about. 
Um, but yeah, let me know if it helps. Hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.